Hello everyone, welcome back. Okay, let's see in a simple example how the code is looks like in a Java 8 and the prayer to Java 8. Okay, um, let me create a simple example so I can name it as a Java 7. This is Java 8 example, okay? So, Java 7, this is Java 8 example. You can simply say it's just a difference between a uh, imperative or versus declarative example. Okay. So, okay, I have a class ready which can be executable. So, what we are going to achieve now? So, let's take in a simple uh, scenario. So, how we are going to achieve that in Java 7 and Java 8? Okay. So, let's put a comment here before. So what are we going to achieve here? Okay, let's um, take a simple example. Okay, I'm I'm I need a uh, sum of uh, numbers from one to ten or one to fifty. Okay, okay. So I need a result which will return the sum of from zero to fifty or hundred. It's up to you. Okay. So how we are going to achieve that in before Java eight? Okay. So so I need to initialize a in a variable which which can hold the total okay so I'm initializing with the zero so I'm going to create a for loop which can loop up to 50 okay so int i is equal to zero and i less than or equal to 50 and uh, i plus plus okay cool. so I'm going to open the curly braces and here what I'm gonna do is I'm going to increment the total with the current occurrence okay for example so so total equal to, sorry total plus equal to 1 Okay. So it oh, sorry, it's I. So so what I'm doing is right. I have a variable called total which can hold the total number, and here I'm incrementing the total with the current occurrence. Okay, let me print that. So so the total total is. Total. So let's run this and see what is the outcome. Run as Java application. So the total is 1275. Okay, look side forward. Okay, let's write a code how we are going to implement in Java 8. Maybe you can put it as after. So, so we are going to use the functional interfaces. So let me create a variable which where we can call total one is equal to. So I need to have a range of number from one to fifteen. So in our functional interface in Java, we we can have a in stream or double stream. There are a lot of trains available. So here I'm going to use the int stream because I'm going to choose the range between 0 to 50. Okay. I'm going to use int stream dot range closed. Range closed means you can provide the initial value as well as the the end value. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is Okay, so the int stream dot range close, which will contain the number between zero to fifty. Okay, so now I'm going to open up a map to do the sum operation. So here we can have map function integer new and sum. So look at this code. 
let me print the values as well total in java 8 okay so what is happening here so this particular line hold the number 0 to 15 and this will do the adding operation that iterating each and every member like from 0 to 50 and the sum operation will do the increment like this is a range closed operation and and this is the sum operation this map integer is a looping the for loop okay so let me run this and see whether both returning the same output see it's a same output but the code is it's pretty clear and pretty much visible okay because based on the code itself you can explain what it is doing so I'm going to open an in stream which contains the range of 0 to 50 and I'm going to sum those numbers that's all okay so it's pretty simple so let's have another example to see how Java 7 and 8 is working and let's see in the next example thank you